and I hope you've been doing well. Winter has been both very hectic and slow for me. I went through a pretty major internal change as I was going through some kind of love situationship kind of situation. I feel like I was obsessed with the idea of being a very routine-oriented person, someone who has their shit together. And that kind of held me back in a way in terms of how much I could develop my sense of identity, how I want to present myself, how I want to live my life moving forward. I was seeing this guy, he was very spontaneous, super passionate, free-spirited, and that kind of served as an opportunity for me to be like, I don't have to be so strict, I don't have to be so uptight. Maybe I just needed someone to pull me out of my shell. I definitely don't worry as much about my future. I think I've genuinely learned how to live in the moment. I still feel very uncertain about my future, but without all the anxiety that I used to have. So right now we are focusing on the present, just doing at least one thing that makes me feel happy every single day, whether that's just dancing to a song or reading a book, catching up with a friend, but I truly think it's the little things that matter. We are slowly becoming more of an adult. I got some stuff in the mail, so I thought, let's do a little unboxing. I'm so excited for this one. I think the first film that I ever watched by her was The Virgin Suicides when I was like 13 or something. And when I was a teenager, I was definitely like an Arctic Monkeys, Lana Del Rey kind of girl. Like she just shows girlhood, sad girlhood. Lost in Translation is one of my favorite films as well. Simple Passion it's by Annie Erno. And the second book I got is A Little Life. I'm sure it's going to be quite of an emotional read. Yeah, but lately I've been gravitating towards a lot of emotion heavy content. I want to watch a film and cry. I want to read a book and cry. <laughs> I just feel the need for a bit of an emotional catharsis. in the morning. We got our water and my muffin and we are ready. What's the time? 10.30. <laughs> Let's 
Oh, it's been so long since I vlogged. We came to lunch, a cute little taco place, and I came straight off the bus to see my beloved. We're both like kind of exhausted, but it's okay. We're not gonna talk until <laughs> you've literally been talking this whole time. But no, she bought a vlogging camera, but she never even started it. Was calling. No, wow. I'm gonna change my editing style. Oh, the fish taco. Walk and chips. How's your food? <laughs> it's really good. We're surviving. It was really good though. It satisfied my Mexican food craving. Get the tacos. Okay. Yes, the sound of Soul City. cinnamon roll. My friend pointed out to me that it's actually cinnamon roll. Comme un lion dans ma cage, blotti dans mes draps, enragé, prêt à dévorer. Dans les couloirs de la vie, on se perd soir. Good morning. I was barely talking in the footage, so I thought I would do a little voiceover. This day I was going to a photo shoot for Foot Locker. I managed to book some jobs as a model. I still feel very new to the industry, so I'm very grateful for every job that I get. I did feel a bit awkward. This was the first time shooting in front of so many people. I think there were more than 10 people on set. They were kind of going for a yay, like bright, happy vibes, which I'm not very used to, but everyone was so nice and I had a great time. I like knocked out as soon as I got home. I was so tired. The shoot went really well, but right after I had to go to like a casting call. So I got home right after the shoot. I had to take off all my makeup, do it again because the makeup is really heavy and then go out again for the casting. I was running around all day on an empty stomach. So this is one of my favorite places. It's called Otogimpa. Mm. Yeah. Alright, it's time to go on a run. We ran nine kilometers today. Right now, it is time to.
to rise and shine. We are just getting ready for school as per usual. We only have two classes today from 10.30 to 1.45. Oh, it's 2.45. This is also my penultimate semester. So I do this one and the next semester and I will be graduating. I will be officially done with school. I took two gap semesters, so that kind of explains why I've been in school for five years. You know, when I'm actually at school, I'm like, oh, I really enjoy doing this. I love being a student, but it's about time. I have an hour or so in between my two classes today. That's when I'm gonna get my work done. I find that I am the most productive when I'm in a public space. So I'm gonna try to get all my work done at school and then we come home, get ready, and we have a Valentino event, which I'm very excited for. It's gonna be at some kind of gallery. to be this difficult okay desperate need of a haircut my hair is getting so long i need to cut off my dead ends and it just generally looks very messy and then we have an event for lancome okay <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 